Hey, Sneaky Lives back. Another video for today. Now, this one's a bit of an odd one, okay? This is for Linux CNC. Now, CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control, which is basically for mills, lathes, plasma cutters, water cutters, 3D printers. I'll go on and on and on, okay? Now, apparently, this should be called EMC2, but now it's not. But don't quote me on that, okay? So I'm going to have a quick look at it first before we do anything. I'll have it running in the virtual box. You can download it as a live CD, but if you run a Debian or Ubuntu stroke distro, you can install it on your system. But I wouldn't really advise that. So if you're really into this sort of stuff, please go and down the live CD and you'll be super duper. Okay. And it also comes with a real time kernel, which you actually will need for this sort of thing. So what you'll need is an older laptop or an older desktop to run the machine, which would be a lot better for you if you're going to do this sort of thing. Now, I don't have a CNC machine. Oh, I lied. I do. I have 3D printers. They are basically CNC machines, but without a cutting person. Okay? The person that's in the bit of the game. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, here's the website. Linux CNC. Okay. The full source code is available under the GNU GPL version 2 license. So you can go and do the code if you want to. Check it all out. Download it from here. Okay. So if I go to download, you'll see what I mean. There we go. Download the image, so you can get an image, verify the image, it's just telling us to do stuff. Now, when you download the live CD, it's basically Debian. At the end of the day, there's some stuff, okay? Just a bit of stuff. And it gives you all the information here you need to know, okay? Now, when I said you can install it to Ubuntu, okay, I'll tell you why you can't and why you can. You can install it to the old version of Ubuntu, which is 12.04. But do we use that anymore? Not really. So you're going to have to get the live CD at the end of the day, unless they've updated it and I don't know about it. Okay. We'll go back to the top of the page. No good. We go back there. Okay. It runs under Linux. Optional with real time extensions. Well, as far as we it comes with the real time extensions, but if it doesn't, I've lied to you. Never mind. Simple installation under Debian or Ubuntu via the live install, which I've got here. Accepts G code as the input. Okay. What is G code? I hear you cry. Well, G code is basically the movement of a device around a certain area. And M code is a spindle. So the spindle basically is the cutter. Yeah? Okay. I'm not really into this sort of stuff really. But somebody asked me a while ago uh, would a certain CNC cutter work with Linux CNC? And I thought, so I thought I'd check it out and see how we went. Anyway, that's the website done. So we'll close it down. Now I've got it running into VirtualBox here. So we'll get it started up. Bear in mind. Okay. There we go. Now, of course, the resolution is going to be terribly bad, but I'm only here to show you what it can do and what it can't do. So if I go to applications, oh, and by the way, there is other videos available on YouTube if you really want to know more about it and you've got a spare CNC machine in your garage, as you do. Okay. I don't happen to have one at the moment. Although my Trinus does come with an optional laser engraver, which would work with this. Not me. I haven't got it at the moment. So, basic Debian, so you get the terminal emulator, file manager. I'm not even going to go into all that because you know what Debian is. But what we want to know is what the CNC stuff is. So, CNC config picker. What is that? Let's have a look. You know what? I ain't got a clue. We'll go back. I'm going to clue what that was. So, we'll go back to the next one. There's documentation here, the Linux CNC G code quick reference guide. Okay, we're going to click on that for you. And I said to you before, okay, G code is motion. You've got something called canned cycles. Now, I didn't know about that. Okay, so G81 and G82 drilling cycle with that dwell. Okay, obviously, if you do this sort of stuff, you'll know what you're talking about. M, as I said before, is the spindle control for your milling device. Okay. Coolant to mist on. I suppose when you're using M7, M8, and M9, that would be for doing metal, okay, or a plasma stuff, or even water cutting, okay. G43, that's the movement stuff again. And stopping for M's again is pause program, optional pause, end of program, and palette change. It's all basically there for you. I understand quite a bit of it, but you know, I've never really got into it that much, but I thought, you know, we'll have a quick look. So the getting started guide, let's have a quick look. Tells you all you need to know in a PDF if you really want to look at it. And you've got a spare machine. 
or somebody's given away a machine. I mean, I know a lot of the old machines have been given away now. But they, you know, nobody wants them. But you could actually get it to work really, really easily with this. If you've got an old laptop, say 10 years old, 32 bit, just want to dedicate it to a CNC thing and it'll be fine. We've got a latency test here, so how fast your machine is while you're doing stuff. So, what you're supposed to do is do this. So, I'll reset the statistics. Okay. And what you're supposed to do is run a browser. So, we'll do that. So, we'll run the browser. So much jitter we get. But obviously, if you're using it basically just for a CNC computer, you won't really need to do this because it won't be doing anything else. You can just unplug it from the net and it'll just do what you want it to do. So, we've done it what to do. So, my maximum jitter is. A lot of numbers. Uh, that's 43 million. Was it 439? I think it's 439 million. That's not good. Okay. But it may be good for CNC. I don't know. Okay. The Pconf wizard and the step configuration. Okay. This is to do just the step mode as far as I'm aware. So if I go to start, it won't be able to find anything. Okay. Because I've not got a CNC Miller connected. But everything is here if you want to run a CNC machine on Linux. Okay. I know this is not the fastest one in the world, but it will do the job, I know. So if you want to go do some CNC milling, plasma cutting, get a lathe going, all controlled by computer, this is the one for you. Yeah, I know, isn't it? I know. I'd rather like it, actually. Let me press C so I can get that page out. And that one there, there too. So, go to the website. So that's Linux CNC. You'll find all you need to know there on the website. Give it a try. If you've got the machinery, you may like it, you may not. I might go and have a look for a CNC machine myself. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.